The Lord be with you. Uh, for our self-reflection today, I, I'd like you to think about, you know, kind of where we are in our church's history and, you know, what we're going to be, the kind of, kind of transition we're going to be going through over the next year. And again, I throw this out for you to think about, cogitate, discuss. Uh, this isn't a the Seth, the Steve kind of thing. Uh, so uh, we had uh, elections last a uh, couple of weeks ago, uh, and, and you'll notice um, the ones who have served in the past are done. Uh, and, and so we, we, we're, we're in a bit of a, again, we're in a bit of a transition uh, where there's two things we really need to think about. Uh, structuring ourselves to get, get the, for lack of a word, administration, or what I like to call administrivia taken care of. You know, the facilities need to be taken care of, the bills need to be paid. Uh, but more importantly, is what Jesus called us to do. The church has a mission. You can put it in terms of go and make disciples of all nations, uh, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and by first I mean only or centered. I uh, Fix your eyes on Jesus, the trailblazer of our faith who brings us to the finish line. Uh, we're called to make disciples of all Jesus, so how do we structure ourselves for ministry or for mission for what Jesus has called to do. And, and so that's what we need to discuss over this coming year. Uh, and what I've heard from the congregation is, is basically the administrative, yeah, uh, we're, we're assigning that to somebody else. It's like, okay, you know, and we're going to trust the people to make those kind of administrative decisions that need to be made. Uh, but more importantly, I, I'd like to know, you know, who wants to partner together in the gospel, the, the stuff we're actually called to do. We're not called to do administration except secondarily, uh, but as far as ministry goes. So we're going to be having a bylaw committee. How do we structure ourselves, you know, um, governance wise to focus on the gospel of Jesus Christ? And then how do we structure ourselves for just the every day, every week ministry opportunities God has placed before us to disciple people, to invite people into the presence of God and the depths of God's character and the depths of God's love? Uh, how do we do that? So th that's the conversation for the next year, uh, this kind of restructuring uh, refocusing of ourselves. Uh, we've been a, we've been around for fifty years, and it's a good conversation to have. God's peace be with you. Amen.